Let's do this. I'm not giving to this to you because I think you need it. I'm giving it to you because you asked for the deodorant. Right? And this. And that. It's at least thyroid medication. What time is it? It's uh, six o'clock. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm. This is not me. Ellie, just. We've got time. We've got time. You're okay. I don't even care if we miss oh, the flight. My... No, oh my heck, I do. They just booked it yesterday. We're okay. To be early is to be on time, is what Ellie's motto is. But we're doing just fine. <laughs> Show for service. <laughs> Look at your car, it's moving. Yeah, it's backing up for Our us. Kids know nothing else, that's wild. <laughs> so yeah, we're catching a plane and we're going to Los Angeles. This happened two days ago. We got a contract, we signed it, and now we're going. Just Jared and I, really quick. Really quick, in fact, in one day. We're coming back today. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the day? Who wants to see a purse tour? All right, so I took the diapers out of the purse this morning and I put all my medicine in there. I've got progesterone and some vitamins and some, what is it, uh, fish oil pills and iron supplements. Then I have perfume, which ugh, mamas never have perfume in their purse. I usually have like wet wipes in there, which is actually really convenient to have. I was gonna say, we use wet wipes I a, a have. lot without the kids. And then I have a little Fix Plus. Right before we go on our little podcast video thing, I can spritz my face and feel fresh. I've got my wallet, and last but not least, are you ready for this? But for two years, it's halfway full, and it's called Silky Underwear from Lush, where I get my bath bombs. I only use it uh, when it's a big day, and what I do is it's like powder for your bum. So I do have I, I do gonna, have baby powder. It's adult it like baby fresh, powder. My fresh balls thing. <laughs> it's literally called fresh balls. It, it's like a it's like a lotion, and it turns into a powder, and it just keeps you from sweating. Yeah. That's pretty much what that is. It's just we've got a big day. I'm gonna be nervous today. I wanna feel clean all day. So I put deodorant on and then I put that on and that just helps me feel clean. So that's, that's what's so in mama's cool. purse. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Jared and I started doing this and then I was like, no, I'm filming that. <laughs> you were a little stressed this morning. Let's not lie. You could probably tell. So we're gonna start off the day by doing a couple positive affirmations each. So Ellie, you go ahead and start. I can have fun while working. I can have fun with my wife no matter what happens. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, that's pretty much it. How about this one? I won't let any negative delay impact our day. Sounds great. I won't let any negative impact delay our day. Did I say that right? Take that, rewind it back. Oh, I'm the worst. All these positive affirmations, never mind. <laughs> Where's McDonald's? <laughs> airport and for us the day that we're filming this today is actually September 11th. More often than not I think of it as my brother and my sister-in-law's birthday. Matt and Maria their birthdays today. Happy birthday to you guys. But for everyone else in the world it's a tragic tragic day 18 years ago. That's a long time ago. It is but it still so is very near you know it's so recent in terms of feeling and emotion and frankly it makes me a little bit nervous to fly today. I know it's gonna be just like every other day, but I anticipate a little bit more security and you know, that kind of stuff. I'm a little nervous, but I think it's gonna be okay. But I just kind of like had to say that to recognize it, you know, pay tribute to those who sacrifice their lives saving who they could. All the firefighters, the policemen, they're still being affected to this day for what they did to help others. Um, my anticipation was completely wrong. We started going through security at 8.17 and we got through at 8.22. Granted, we have pre-check. It was like one of the fastest times we've ever gone through security ever. That's a plan for good luck, Ellie. Come on. Sheepers. <laughs> Feels bad that the kids aren't here, so I'm wondering, Ellie, do you want to just sit on this and I'll push?
push it just so it feels like the <laughs> gold times. <laughs> it is 11 o'clock LA time, and Ellie and I thought we would start Trying the not clock. I'm to smile so I don't crease me. Oh, please. I'm having a meeting today. <laughs> we thought we would start the clock now and compare how long we are actually in Los Angeles versus the travel time that we took to get here and then go back home. So start the clock now, 11 o'clock. You are probably wondering why we're here in Los Angeles. And, and probably is... why I'm wearing a different shirt right oh, now. Oh yeah, Jared just changed. <laughs> Two days ago, our manager said we had an opportunity in LA to do a podcast. And I was like, oh, I don't think I can do that because we're going somewhere tomorrow. And he goes, Ellie, stop thinking red light, think green, you can come. And I'm like, okay. So we dropped everything, made it work, and we're here in Los Angeles. I am so glad we're here. Jared and I, this has been one of the most refreshing days mm -hmm. in months. It's yes. just been fun to be together all day. No interruptions. We just went to this place over here for lunch called Bottega Louie, and it was delicious. It was so great. It's amazing. If you come here, you have to eat you there. You have to try it. We have traveled all day to work for two hours and then we travel home. So we get home at 1 a.m. We finally made it to our destination. We are at the YouTube space, bing this, in LA. This is a huge deal! This is a huge deal. We are, I didn't Ellie, mean to yell at you. <laughs> we, we're doing a podcast, like Ellie said, but this is like a really cool, unique opportunity, at least I think. We're doing a podcast with Reese Witherspoon, not her. company. <laughs> Not her, Reese, but her company. Reese Witherspoon's company, Hello Sunshine. And so we're they invited us come to come down and sit down and talk about relationships and parenting and, and, and all of that. Is, instead of like us doing a podcast talking about us, because that's lame. <laughs> um, we're talking about like people are gonna ask questions and then we're gonna answer. <gasps> this yeah. is right up our alley. I'm super excited about that because I feel like everyone can gain some insight from us and our relationship. Don't you think? That was... <laughs> Maybe not. We're not saying this because we're perfect by no means. Nobody is. But I do think this is a really cool opportunity that they asked us to do it. Obviously, but we're not. We have perfect. snacks in the green room. <laughs> Ellie and I are sitting here in the green room and they're like, oh, Jared, we have something for you. Which was anyone who comes and just like pulls you in and like already knows your name is crazy. But they said, we have something for you. It's in the fridge. Take a look. So I'm going to look and see what it is. I'm pretty anxious and excited. I'm excited for you. Oh, oh so nice. they are so nice. And I was looking over here on the like the the call sheet of the room. Look, we weren't messing with you. It's legit. Makeup artist, me. I know. You know they have someone here to do this, right? I'm not being rude. <laughs> she said I could. I'm not being rude. I'm so mad at my skin. I did my makeup at 5 a.m. and then I washed it because my beauty blender was picking up my makeup. She says it's never happened I've to her. I've never seen it happen with it. See too many dry levels. Yeah, I don't want any dry elbows. No one wants to see dry Reese skin. Want to see so question, do you think she watches all these? Reese? I'm so I mean, it's her company. I'm sure she does, especially ours. Oh, boo. <laughs> no one said yes, so I don't know. Does she watch? <laughs> I would hope so. If it was Maybe my company, I would. Her what it's all but I know about. she's probably super busy. And like, you should really watch this one, Reese. And then she's like, okay, I will. Your relationship and where it is today, you, um, I was watching the videos and I was tearing up because my daughter Anna just had her first day of preschool yeah. and I was watching Jackson, and her son, go to kindergarten. And so, so yeah, I wanted just to hear about it, how that felt that day. I didn't think I cried on camera, but there may have been some tears <laughs> off camera. He was excited, so I wasn't as sad and emotional because he was ready. Yeah. So. But of course you are sad sending your little baby off, but that's hard because she works full time too. Mm -hmm. So you really are having to split things down the middle. Like you both have to give if you're both working full time and taking care of kids. Sometimes to have a, a nice piece in the home, maybe the project just doesn't get done. Yeah. Well, and maybe you that. tell the daughter, look, this stinks. It doesn't get done. Well, I, I, I really love that. I think it's really important because I, I talk a lot about standards in the ball. Mm -hmm. I just talk about what's reasonable. Right. What's reasonable. I love that. Yeah. And we've been doing it in law. I'm a lawyer by trade for a hundred years. Down you look great coffee at, for a oh, hundred years old. old. <laughs> yes, in her law. There is a reasonable person standard that exists. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was a whirlwind of experiences. That was the greatest. We just finished up the podcast with Eve. Guys, she's done years of research and she said that something I said, no one has ever said. And, and she, all of we her brought interviews. something to the table. We did. You did awesome. I think 
it was a really great podcast. When it's available, we'll let you know um, so you guys can check it out. But you guys have already seen the set. I just want to say go- say goodbye to Eve one more time. Will you just say hello to our, our vlog? Hi. <laughs> we had such a good time with you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you. Guys are sharing so many yeah. important insights that you really will help other couples. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, Pleasure yeah. to meet you. Bye. Take care. I can't wait to read okay, this. Bye. We'll see ya. She is seriously the nicest. It was so much fun. And just like that, we're on our way back to the airport to fly oh, back guys, home. I already said this. She's been doing research. For she's seven a lawyer. Years. She what else does she write books? Mediator, she's a lawyer, she's a mediator. An and she said, she's like, you brought something big to the table. And she wrote it down. She wrote it down to put it in the book or the next book. <laughs> I feel so, yeah, I better hurry in Instagram so everyone knows it came from me. <laughs> oh, what a fun day. This was so cool to be able to spend just one day in Los Angeles and be with Reese Witherspoon's team on Hello Sunshine. Like I said, when the podcast is available, we'll let you guys know. I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm a little sad right now. We just got to our terminal and I was so excited to have Shake Shack because every time we go to LAX, we always fly out of the terminal with Shake Shack. We're not in terminal. I think it's terminal Shack. three to get We're Shake Shack. We're not Slapfish. Sla- <laughs> <laughs> There's Slapfish over there. There's a restaurant called Slapfish over there. We there- didn't even plan that. <laughs> I know. That was cool. That was great comedic timing. Um, who's ready to go home now and get to sleep at 1 a.m.? And then get up and go on another adventure. We are. How does Jersey Mike sound? No. We'll figure it out. All right, so I've been traveling all day. By the time <laughs> we get home, it'll be 1 a.m. But I want to show you that this is the perfect travel outfit. This is from our company, Volley Brand. But I'm going to throw the top on so that the leggings go with it. The me, leggings actually go really well with the checkered shirt. I do love it. I want to be extra cozy. Well, we didn't see Reese today, but we had so much fun filming for her production studio. Like, that was so much fun. Now we're just grabbing some candy. Where is Ellie? There you are. You're getting stuff for the kids? For the car ride. They Aww, will love that. They will love that. Lately, Tommy, he knows what's going on and that he's going to scream because he's going to want to He's going to want one, something. So do we officially start the travel time now? I can't hear him listening to a book. <laughs> oh, you stop it. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. Welcome yeah. back to Utah. Now I can touch my face because I'm done doing that and I don't care to mess up my makeup. It's freezing. Where are we? Should we end it, Jer? No, because we <laughs> need to know what time it is when we get home so we can do our final calculation okay. of how long we traveled versus how long okay. we were actually in <laughs> Okay, we'll talk to you in two hours. We finally made it home and I have the grand total of our travel day today. So we left at 6 a.m and then we landed at 12 Utah time, so six hours. We were in LA from 12 until nine Utah time, nine hours. And then we left to travel back to Utah at 9 p.m. Utah time, and we got here at 1.30. So doing the math, we traveled for 10 and a half hours, and we were in Los Angeles for nine hours. So we traveled longer then we were actually there. We're gonna say goodnight, but first I have to show you, we're already packing for the adventure that we're gonna go on tomorrow. Are we crazy? I don't know. But that's gonna be it from us, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notifications, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.